Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS in 3 or less. Today we're in the A10C2 Tank Killer showing how to fire the Maverick using the Lightning Targeting Pod. This video uses quite a few control bindings so those are up on the screen at the end of the video. Let's jump in the cockpit and get to it. Bring up the DSMS page and select both Maverick pylons. Select the Maverick page and double check the Master Arm is on. On the right MFD, on the TTP page, select air to ground mode. We've got a helmet mounted display on so we can have a look at the target point and the ingress point, which we've got marked as named waypoints. We use the steer point rocker switch to select our target waypoint. The HMD's wedding cake symbol tells us that this is now the SPI. China hat forward long to point all sensors at the SPI. Looks like it's outside of the Maverick's gimbal limits, so let's turn towards the target a bit. The dotted box on the HMD shows the targeting pod's current field of view. Coolie hat right long press to slide the targeting pod. China hat forward short to toggle field of view. My boat switch was already set to an IR mode. Can zoom further with DMS data management switch forward and aft. Use the slew controls to pick out a tank. China hat forward short to get a point track and adjust if needed. Target management switch forward long assigns the speed to the targeting pod. Note that the wedding cake's moved away from the target waypoint. China hat forward long to point the Maverick. Curly hat left long to soy the Maverick. China hat forward short for the Maverick field of view. Make a final turn onto target heading. Circular crosshair on the HUD shows where the Maverick is pointing. The small square is our current steer point and the tiny diamond is our current speed. Tanks show up as small white dots on the Maverick display because they're hotter than their background. For this reason we've left the Maverick in hot on cold mode indicated by the white targeting crosshair. If our targets appear darker than the surroundings we could use the boat switch forward that would put us in cold on hot mode. Doesn't change the display but it makes it far easier for the Maverick to lock on. We'll keep the boat switch aft for now. 10 miles out you'll see ranging information on the Maverick display and the range carrot will appear on the HUD. Now you can lock the target with TMS forward short. Shivering Maverick crosshairs mean a good lock. As soon as your range marker's within the bracket, rifle. Let's go for our next target. Coolie hat right long to soy the TGP. China hat forward short to zoom out and slew to the next target. We're still in point track and our spear should follow us. China hat forward long to point the Maverick at the spear. Coolie hat left long to soy the Maverick. TMS forward short to lock. If it won't lock, zoom in with China hat forward short. We've got a good lock though, so rifle. Process is kind of fiddly, so let's repeat it once more. Coolie hat right long to soy the targeting pod. Slew controls to find a target. Point track. Soy the Maverick. TMS up short to lock. Rifle. There's our first hit. Second. And the third. Brilliant work. I've been Dan, you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from Got Space Game. Hit the subscribe button for more 3 minute DCS tutorials covering all of your favourite modules. 